Hello friends, in this video we are going to talk about the basics of digital communication. That means what do you mean by digital signals, what, uh, what is the need of digital signal processing system or what is the need of digital communication system. Also we are going to cover the advantages provided by the digital system. So let's begin with the topic. <music> So first we are going to start with the definition of digital communication. So basically the digital communication system is a system in which the information is exchanged in the form of digital information that is by using a machine language which is nothing but one and zero. We can take the example of computer in which the signal is transmitted in the form of one and zero which is also called as machine language. So the system which uses one and zero are called as digital system. So we can say that the digital communication is a process of device communicating information digitally. So whenever the two devices they perform the communication in the form of one and zero then we can say that the system is a simple digital system as it uses a machine language in the form of one and zero. Now we know that the communication that takes place in our day to day life is in the form of signal. The signal for example if we consider the sound signal which is analog in nature. So that means the sound signal get continuously vary with respect to time. So whenever we want to transmit such type of signal then we use a wire or we use a repeater. Such type of signal which are changes continuously with respect to time are called as analog signal. So sound signal is an example of the analog signal. But whenever we want to transmit the signal over a large distance then we require to use repeaters and many more circuits. While traveling, the analog signal get affected by many factors. They get affected by noise, they get affected by environmental factor and because of which the signal or the information may get corrupted or error occurs in the information. So when the receiver receives the information, the information may be in the corrupted form or may be in the wrong form. So to avoid all these things, the digital system comes into the picture. Now let's see what, what is the need of digitization. The conventional method of communication using analog signals for a long distance communication suffers from many losses such as distortion, interference and other losses including security. As I said earlier when the signal is required to be transmitted over a long distance then in case of analog signal the signal strength get reduced therefore we require to use multiple amount of repeaters, multiple amount of amplifiers in the circuit. At the same time the various factors affect the signal which causes distortion in the signal, the signal get mixed with the noise and because of that the information may get corrupted or information may get damaged. Sometime it may be possible that the wrong information get received by the user. Therefore security is also a concern during transmission of the analog signal. In order to overcome this problem the signals are then digitized using different technique. The digitizing signal allows communication to be more clear and accurate without any loss. So to overcome the effect of noise, to overcome the effect of disturbance and to provide security to the signal, the digitization comes into the picture. The various techniques used for converting analog signal into digital signal. So with the help of digital signal, it is possible to transmit the signal over a long distance without having any effect of noise, without having any effect of interference from other factor and also the security can be provided to the signal so that the correct information is get received by the receiver and the system information is get securely transmitted. The digital signal consists of 1 and 0 indicates high and low values respectively. As I said earlier the digital system operates on the two signal that is 1 and 0. 1 indicates high level or usually we can say it is refers to VCC which is nothing but plus 5 volt plus 15 volt and 0 is nothing but ground level that is 0 volt. So these two signal levels are basically used in case of digital systems. Now let's move on to the next topic that is nothing but advantages of digital communication. As there are many disadvantages related to the analog communication that is related with the effect of noise related with the interference from other factors then the main concern that is security. So to overcome this digital system comes into the picture and it provides many advantage and therefore it is mostly used communication system in the world. So the first advantage is the effect of distortion, noise, interference is less in case of digital system and therefore the signals get affected less. The second disadvantage are digital circuits are more reliable as compared to the analog circuits. The digital circuits are easy to design and easy to implement as compared to analog circuits. The hardware implementation in case of digital system is less costlier and easy as compared to the analog system. 
then it also provides more flexibility than analog circuits the occurrence of crosstalk in is very rare in case of digital communication then the signal is not get altered therefore the high disturbance to the property it becomes very difficult the next advantage provided by the digital system is the signal processing functions such as encryption and compression are used in the digital circuit for maintaining the security of the information so basically encryption and decryption are the processes which are used for providing security to the information which is to be transmitted and that can be easily done in case of digital signal therefore the high percentage of security is achieved in case of digital communication system as compared to analog communication system further the probability of error occurrence in case of digital communication system is less as compared to analog communication system then error detection and error correction becomes very easy in case of digital communication than in analog communication and for that purpose various error detection and correction techniques are used in case of digital communication technique now the spread spectrum technique is used for signal jamming then the combining digital signal using time division multiplexing is easier than combining analog signal in frequency division multiplexing now moving on to the further advantages the configuring process of digital signal is easier than the analog signal the digital signals can be saved and retrieved more conveniently than the analog signal so if we want to store the information if we want to store the data for the future use then therefore it, then it becomes very much easy to store and process the data in k in the digital form rather than in the analog form because the analog values are those values which are get continuously changes with respect to time and therefore it becomes very much difficult to store them to process them and to use them for the future use so this case is not happen in case of digital system or digital signals digital signals are not get vary with respect to time and therefore they are very easy to store we can use it for the future use and we can even retrieve the original information back from them so from storage point processing point and for retri information retrieving point the digital systems are more convenient as compared to analog system further the many digital circuits have almost common encoding technique and similar devices can be used to perform a number of operation now if we were talk about the techniques which are used for transmission of the analog and analog signals then the different circuits are required to be used for example if we consider receiver only then different types of receivers are required for receiving the different different types of signal this case is not happen in case of digital signal because encoding and decoding of the digital signal mostly uses a similar circuit therefore the flexibility in case of circuit implementation and flexibility in case of a hardware implementation is provided in case of digital communication system as compared to analog communication system further the capacity of the channel is effectively utilized by the digital signal as they are transmitted in the form of 1 and 0 and it is very easy to compress the digital signal as compared to analog signal so these are what about the various advantages provided by the digital system and need of digital system so from communication point of view if we consider the best system is nothing but the digital communication system as compared to analog because in case of analog though we use the different modulation technique though we use a different security providing technique but the signal get continuously vary in the case of analog system which affect the quality of the signal which affect the quality of the information so to avoid that digital system comes into the picture so i hope you understand the topic of basics of digital communication along with its advantages so thank you very much for watching this video stay tuned to ikida subscribe ikida thank you